we want to multiply two numbers written in scientific notation without the use of a calculator. So the first thing to recognize here is that everything is being multiplied together. We have 1.2 times 10 to the fourth times 5.3 times 10 to the third. And since multiplication is commutative, we can change the order of this multiplication and it will not affect the product. So we're going to rewrite this so that the mantissas or significans are together. So we'll have 1.2 times 5.3 times, and then we'll write the powers on 10 together. So we'll have 10 to the fourth times 10 to the third. Now we'll determine the product of the mantissas or significans, and then we'll determine the product of these tens raised to powers. Remember, to multiply decimals, we first determine the total number of decimal places. So this has one decimal place to the right of the decimal, and this has one. Therefore, our product must contain two decimal places to the right of the decimal. So now that we know that, we can go ahead and just determine the product of 12 and 53. So we have 12 times 53. So we're going to have 6, 3. We'll multiply by 5, so we have 10, carry the 1, and that'll be 6. So we have 636, but remember, but remember this product must contain two decimal places to the right of the decimal point. So we'll have to place the decimal point here. So this product is 6.36. And then to multiply 10 to the fourth times 10 to the third, if the bases are the same and we're multiplying, the rule is that we add our exponents. So this will be 10 to the seventh. And now we have the product written in scientific notation. And notice how this number here satisfies the condition of being greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So this is the correct form for our product. Let's take a look at one more example. Again, our first step will be to reorder this multiplication. We're going to have 9 times 7 times 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 9th. Notice in this example, when we multiply the significance, we have 63. And then when we multiply 10 raised to our powers, we're going to have 10 to the 10th. While this is the correct product, it's not in the correct form. For a number to be written in scientific notation correctly, this number here has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So this number here is too large to be in the correct form for scientific notation. So what we'll do is convert this to scientific notation and then multiply it with 10 to the 10th. So right now the decimal point is here. In order to satisfy the conditions for scientific notation, we must move the decimal to here. So our significant would be 6.3 times 10 to the, we move the decimal point to the left one place, which means this exponent would be positive one. Again, remember that we started with a bigger number, 63. If we convert it to a smaller number, 6.3, this has to be a positive exponent. So this is just for 63. We have to multiply this by 10 to the 10th. So our final product in scientific notation would be 6.3 times 10 to the 10 to the first times 10 to the 10th would be 10 to the 11th. So sometimes when multiplying numbers in scientific notation, we do have this extra step if the product is not in the correct form for scientific notation.